All right, welcome to the Dean Bodie Show. Da -da 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 -da. Dean Bodie Show. All right, notice how I didn't put the Dean and Bodie in this one. Dean Bodie, clean, one word. We are in this together. Dean Bodie together, one energy, one life, forever. And uh, this is the Bodie that goes to the Dean. 90%. I'm just 10% in the Bodie house. This is my muse because good girl Bodie, good, good girl, good girl Bodie, she's the best girl in the world. Ho! Oh! She's a good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. She's a good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Ho! Oh! So, don't forget Dean Bodie's show, a YouTube channel that's D E A N B O D I, Space Show. Um, you'll see all the uh, the videos we do on there and Dean Bodie dot com. Um, Dean Bodie podcast wherever you get podcasts on um, Apple, Spotify. You know, wherever you get podcasts on the platforms and there is Google, Stitcher, you know how it goes. And uh, iHeartRadio got me on board and other fun stuff like that. So we're on the platforms. We're excited. Uh, DeanBodie.com website. We added a couple things today that I'm real excited about. On the main page, you'll see the link where you can click on it and it'll take you to the podcast on Apple also underneath that, you'll see the social, um, and you'll have the link to go onto the YouTube. Things are connecting. We're growing. Um, and I found out today that um, all the searches on the website, the ranking was going up. 85 out of 100. 65% uh, last week, and all kinds of views and activity growing. Thank you very much for being a part of this. Uh, Dean Bodie Experience, Dean Bodie Show, Dean Bodie Podcast, where we're going to be bringing you real stories. Real stories, real things, every time, authentic, the real deal, no fluffy puffy. This is how it is. Oh, God, here he goes. So, you know, a lot of pandemic schmandemic. COVID schmovid. What's he even talking about? He's talking Yiddish, I think, Millie. These are Yiddish words in the pandemic, shmandemic, the COVID shmovid. How about that? We make up our own stuff over here. Yiddish is kind of a made up uh, Jewish slang kind of word thing anyway. So we just did it. COVID shmovid, pandemic, shmandemic. Don't be a schmutzer yutz. Okay? Don't be a schmendrick. So... I grew up Jewish. Wait till I get into the stories about how I, oh God, here it comes. Oh, how I had to take the city bus to my Hebrew school and from there the city bus all the way to junior high school. Glade, shout out junior high, shout out before I went to Arvida. You want to talk about stress. Hebrew school, three years, hated it. Tortured by the cantor, didn't memorize this. I was never wanted to do it. Oh, wait till I get into those stories. But at another time, you know, did you know that I took the taxi to elementary school when I was a little kid? My father passed away when I was very young. Mom did not drive. Why? Because dad did it all. Drove. The clothes he got for her, the shoes and the jewelry, all of that. Treat her like a lady, cause that's what he did. Oh yeah, my daddy did. So she had me dialed in with the taxi service in the yellow cab to elementary school and back. What was I, five? Hi Dean, how are ya? You ready to go home? Yes please, Mr. Whatever. Please, can you take me to 8730 Southwest 86 Court please? Sure. Let's do it. Off I went in the taxi home. Come on. Getting it done. Worldly at a young age. City bus, taxi, Hebrew, boom. All around. It's a miracle I made it home. Man. And then we'll get into I had surgery in second grade. I had an eye patch on my eye for a little while. Oh, gosh. 
Real stories, Dean Bodie is coming at you, okay? Get ready, because we're gonna take a hard fork now. We're gonna go be going to the Rush concert, 1981, high school. We got tear gassed at the concert. We got tear gas going on in the world right now. People getting tear gassed. Oh my God, okay? So, modern day warrior, mean, mean stride. Today's Tom Sawyer, mean, mean pride. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Neil Peart, greatest drummer of all time, in my opinion. R.I.P. Neil, I'm channeling you today, my friend. And I know it's Neil Peart or Neil Peart. Listen to me. When we were growing up, listening to these songs, first of all, was it not only a badge of honor, if you could follow any of the drum, anything from Neil while you're in the back seat banging on the headrest or if you're in the front seat on the dashboard to see if you can do his riffs. <clears throat> and if you can nail it, there was always one kid that had it memorized and nailed it to the T. It, and he was kind of like, you held that another level when you nailed it. Not to mention the lyricist genius of Neil Peart. Not Neil Peart. If I heard one more talk show host interview him and say, Neil Peart, it, it totally freaked me out when I first heard that. You mean I've been saying his name wrong the whole time? So we, we went with Neil Peart the whole time growing up. And the lyricist genius, if you can even get the words down to a whole song. Oh, Tom Sawyer and the limelight and uh, Red Barchetta. Oh, it goes on and on. But if you can do that and get the, uh, the drum solos in there with your air drumming on the way down to the Fort Lauderdale Strip with the windows cranked open and the stereo cranked up. Oh, are you talking about in the zone? In the zone, man. So going down to the concert... Oh, my gosh. Um, and then we're going to get into my short career, too, as a drummer. Ah, not good. Not good. Shout out to Maury, who's on the family chats with us, group chat on a weekly, who's got into the drumming again later in life. Just picks up the sticks, and he's rolling all over the place already like it was nothing. It's not as easy as it looks. I tried. I'm going to tell you my story. But first... Oh my, did I tell you yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel? Did I tell you to click on the bell so you get reminders of the new shows that are coming? You don't want to miss any of these shows. We're bringing it. You don't want to miss it. I'm looking right at you right there with the camera. You do not want to miss any YouTube podcast. Subscribe. Give it a five-star rating. You know, show Dean Bodie some love and let's grow together. I can't say we're growing every day. We're fired up. Okay, can he get back to the concert now? Is he getting back to the concert yet? Yeah, Millie, hold on. He's trying. So, 71 Le Mans, going down to the Hollywood Sportatorium. This place was wild. The craziest place to see a show. And, uh, and it's like this crazy, scary two-lane road. We're talking Pembroke Pines, Florida, Hollywood, Florida the Sportatorium, where they not only had concerts, but they had drag racing over there. And the first time I saw my jet-fueled car, oh my God, with a jet engine. God, we're going back to 81. It's amazing that they built this thing and it didn't blow up back in like the evil Knievel days. But way up in the stands and you felt this burner of a flame 15 rows up. And there's people right there on the track trying to get this car dialed in so this thing can do the quarter mile in like half a second. <laughs> I don't know what's crazier, that crazy ass? Evil Knievel or going over the Niagara Falls in a, in a freaking barrel? All of these guys, man. But man, the entertainment they brought us, that's, that's much, much respect to the people that take crazy risks. Elon Musk, I love ya. So... How I love you, how I love you, my dear old mammy. So we're going down the two-way lane highway there to get to the, to the venue, the sportatorium. Oh, I'm zigzagging here because I'm getting, I'm getting little things that tell me. It, it's kind of like if you've never been down to the, what used to be the old seven-mile bridge going down to the Florida Keys. 
Why do they call it the Seven Mile Bridge? Because it's seven miles long. That's why. <laughs> and But it was a scary road. When you got these trucks coming by and you're going there, and especially at nighttime, there's like, okay, there's no room on either side. Water, water, two lanes, seven mile bridge, like a death trap. They changed it since, it's better. But man, old school was nuts. And uh, talk about having faith. Every time you get on a road like that or you get into the car and it's a two lane thing, you have so much faith that the other driver's not gonna come in your lane and smash you head on. Come on, every day we go through these things. COVID, schmovid, pandemic, schmandemic. Okay, like, uh, I don't know, my Savage Nation guy listened to his podcast. He talks about Dr. Fugazi, Dr. Fugauchi, Dr. Fettuccini, whatever his name is. Somebody test this guy, please. He sounds like he's got chronic bronchitis. And what is he going through of four decades of, uh, of working with the pres different presidents and never gets sick? Who is this guy going into his underground whatever, getting to the antidote injection in the tochus? All right. Anyway, to get back on track with going back to the concert now, going to the Hollywood Sportatorium, my 71 Le Mans. Me and my buddy, we're going down there. We get to the venue. And word has it that I just uh, found out, Neil Pert was watching a baseball game of something like this and was running late for the show. Everybody at the Sportatorium was getting restless. Let's go, let us in. What's going on? We're like 30 minutes past the whatever. So we start jumping the wall. The officers and security weren't having none of that, so they tear gassed us. <laughs> oh, yes, it burns. Yes, it does the job. It does exactly what it says. It's brutal. Not only it chokes you, but your eyes, you, you have to open them for like a half a second to see where you are to get another few steps, open them again, a few steps more until you finally, I don't know, you feel like you're in the military in Afghanistan or something, crawl into the men's room to rinse your eyes out. So we get in there and all of us, like we're teenagers, right? And we're big shots. Oh, that tear gas ain't nothing, man. They can't tell us what to do. Do be do 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 As we're in the men's room crying like little babies. Oh, they can't tell us what to do. Oh. Finally, the eyes dried. We rinsed out the eyes. The show started. And there's Neil Pert. All right, we're going to find out this Pert and Peart thing in a second here. I got an assistant that's going to tell us, my sidekick, who's going to give us the real answer. And if I'm wrong, hey, I stand corrected. But I'm still going to call it my way because that's my memory. Sorry, Neil. Okay? <laughs> and um, the show went on, and this guy's drum set, Neil had this drum set wrapped around him with the gong in the back, the chimes, the tom-toms. Oh, this drum set was like a whole nether level back in the day. He was the man. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. On um, moving pictures, Tom Sawyer. If you haven't ever heard that song, get it on iTunes today. Listen to the drummer. Okay, not to mention the rest of the band. Three guys with this sound. Oh. So the show went on. The tear gas dried. It was unbelievable. And yes, the next day, and this is the kicker, the next day, back to school, wearing the concert shirt. And these concert shirts, the old school shirts, those three-quarter sleeves, if you remember these. I don't know why not the full sleeve. And it wasn't a short sleeve. It stopped right here. That was the design. And it had the concert thing on the front or the back or whatever. And you'd go to school because you want to let everybody know you were at the show. So not only was it like, oh, you went to the show. You're back right before homeroom starts and before school. And you're wearing your concert shirts. And yeah, man, and we got tear gassed. Oh, you were there for that, man. Cool. You got tear gas. And the whole story, the whole thing. You were walking around like you were the man that day. Incredible, man. So that's my story with the Sportatorium and the tear gas. 
Then we got tear gas going all over the different cities now. It reminded me of my tear gas story. Not fun. It's going to clear the crowd. You're going to cry unless you got one of these little fog masks on and whatever. And in your bag of tricks, some of these guy characters do. The professional protesters. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. So, what a great show. And now, okay, we got to get into this now. The Neil Pert, Neil Peart discussion. Because growing up, we called him Pert. Neil Pert was the guy. It wasn't the other one. So, Alexa... Who was the drummer for Rush? Neil Peart and John Rutsey were the drummers for Rush. Alexa, thank you. Of course. She said Neil Peart. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Neil, I'm sorry, but that's what we called you. You were the man. Rest in peace. We love you. All the music and um. Oh, God, another one that was taken from us too soon. Wow. But, man, to talk about leaving your footprint. Wow. Da -da 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 -da. Dean Bodie Show. Don't forget, Dean Bodie Podcast. Wherever you get podcasts, on Apple, Spotify, Google, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, wherever you want to get podcasts, we're on those platforms. We've got a couple of new features on the website. You want to go check it out at DeanBodie.com. We're connecting. We're going back and forth. We're linking things up. We're growing. He told me 85 out of 100 searches. I'm on the, moving up on the list and things are happening over here at Dean Bodie Show. Dean Bodie Show, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I space show, YouTube channel. Exciting. Exciting. The Bodie. All right. This is awesome. The greatest thing that's ever happened to me as I've said before, if I knew mate, if I knew my soulmate was gonna have four legs, it would have saved me a lot of money and aggravation. Dean and Bodie show, Dean Bodie show, bah. Oh man! So, anyways, have a great day. Let's keep this thing rolling. Let me just check one thing real quick, so we don't want to like shortchange you and all that stuff on the show. And we were talking about. Um, Oh, my short drum career. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, hold on a second. Short drum career. Listen. <sighs> it was short. I'm in college. I want to take the drums. And uh, I go and I pick out this beautiful drum set. A pearl set, platinum zildjian cymbals, gorgeous. Put the down payment on it. I had 30 days to finish the deposit or guess what? You're going to lose the set. I did not know how to spend money back then. Bartending, cash, easy come, easy go. I'm trying to set up a payment plan on a drum set. Needless to say, it didn't work out. I didn't come up with the money. They took my set. I went to take lessons with the, uh, the drum uh, lesson guy, who was awesome. And the first song that I tried to learn, Rock You Like a Hurricane. And it starts off hitting the tom-toms up at the top. I'm excited. I'm learning one of my favorite songs from the Scorpions. He's got his drum set to the left, my drum set's to the right. And he's teaching me the basic shuffle. And... Uh, I was a little stiff. <laughs> I don't know. Too much weight training. I couldn't relax. He was trying to get me to relax. I couldn't. I couldn't. Mr. Stiff, I don't know what happened. I went from being awesome on the dashboard of the car. Oh, I could drum like Neil Peart in the air drumming like a pro. No problem. But I got back there in the hot seat, froze up like a deer in headlights. But I went home and I practiced on the drum pad and all that because in an apartment, you can't have a drum set because of the noise. It turned into this whole thing. The career did not last. I lost the drum set. I had my little drum pad. I tried to practice and go, I don't know, six weeks of lessons. I fell out. What can I tell you? Maybe now we might just take up piano 
and learn how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, a couple other things. If I could get a couple David uh, Nevue piano songs, like one of them under my belt while I'm on this planet, we're good. <laughs> so I'll leave the drumming to the pros. I'll leave the drumming. Neil Prayer, you're in my heart and soul forever. Thanks for the great music. Don't forget one last time. Dan it dan it dan it dan it dan it dan it dan Dean Bodie Show. Have an awesome day. Dean Bodie Podcast. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. Dean Bodie Show. YouTube channel. DeanBodie.com. Oh, uh, don't forget Dean at DeanBodie.com. The email. Send in any comments or questions there. We got that professional email finally set up today. So we're cranking it up a notch. We're smoothing out some of the rough edges. I hope you have an awesome day. Stay on it. Keep moving forward. Keep the clean life. Those of you dealing with the anxiety, depersonalization, derealization, Tanner, a shout out to you. Thanks for the emails yesterday and the back and forth. I'm here for you 1,000%. I'm looking at you right now. It's going to be okay. I go through it on a daily. We're in and out of it. Yes, it will clear up 1,000%, but you got to do what I tell you to do. Do the clean life. Put your body in an environment so it can fix itself. No more patch up care. All right. Don't be afraid of this thing. You're special. That's what this is all about. You're vibrating at a higher level. That's why it's messing with you. Come on. We're here for you, Dean Bodie. Have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye now.